Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I've got a video that shares my top picks for vegan road trip snacks. So we are in the process actually today of packing up our apartment here in Denver, Colorado. We don't really have that much stuff. It's basically clothes and food and things like that. And we are making the trek cross country back to New York City. So next Sunday, so you're gonna see this on a Tuesday, that Sunday we are gonna be back in New York City and then the following day our stuff gets delivered from storage and we move into our new apartment. So because we are making about a seven day trip across the country, we are packing lots of healthy snacks. We are driving through the Midwest and then kind of down south and I've never been to that part of the country so I wanted to make sure that I had snacks that I enjoy eating just in case there aren't stores that I like to shop at or I can find the snacks that I like. So what I did is I ordered a bunch of stuff online from Thrive Market and then I also made some stuff. So I'm basically just gonna walk through what I'm bringing with me. It's a little excessive, but these are kind of like my healthy-ish vegan versions of like traditional snacks. So things like potato chips, tortilla chips, pretzels, crackers, a little bit of candy, things like that. So why don't we just go ahead and dive in? All right, so we're gonna start with chips. I'm bringing two types of chips with me. The first is a sprouted blue corn tortilla chip with sea salt. This is from Thrive Market. Haven't tried them yet, but I like the idea of sprouted because it makes it a little bit easier on your digestive system. And if you don't know already, I am a major tortilla chip lover, so I hope these are delicious. And then the second thing is some avocado oil Himalayan sea salt potato chips, also from Thrive Market. The avocado oil is ethically sourced and avocado oil is higher quality than some of the traditional oils that they use on potato chips. So something like canola oil, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil. So avocado oil is just a little bit cleaner and I also like that it's using pink Himalayan sea salt. They're gluten-free, they're non-GMO, they're kettle cooked, so they aren't deep fried and I think they're gonna be delicious. My next thing is pretzels. I actually got three different types of my favorite gluten-free and vegan pretzels. They're Quinn Snacks, I also got these on Thrive and they have a bunch of different kinds, but my favorites are these just like traditional little ones that have the little traditional pretzel shape. I also love their thin sticks. They are so good. They're like the best for dipping. They also have a gluten-free rye style, like thicker stick. They didn't have them available on Thrive when I ordered, but um, they're also good. But these ones are delicious. And then if you've ever tried peanut butter pretzels before, peanut butter filled pretzels, you know that they are like so addicting and oftentimes they're not super healthy. Not to say that these are healthy, but they're healthier, I guess you could say. And they are Quinn Snacks um, creamy peanut butter filled gluten-free pretzels. So they're like little pretzel bites full of peanut butter and they are honestly so good. I love them so much. Next up, we have some kind of healthy-ish protein options, crispy chickpeas. Crispy chickpeas are an awesome option if you're on the go. They are sometimes deep fried, so they're not like as healthy as a regular chickpea, but it's still a chickpea, so you're getting like the satisfying crunch of a chip, but you're getting a chickpea, so you're getting some protein and stuff like that. Vienna Chickpeas makes awesome different flavors. Um, this is our favorite, it's the Rockin' Ranch. It's so good. We actually got three bags of these, but the sea salt ones are also really good. I have a bag of those that I'm bringing as well. Um, but they have six grams of protein per serving, as well as six grams of fiber. They're grain-free, gluten-free, vegan, and they're amazing. So if you have not tried these, I highly recommend them. I also have a few boxes of crackers, so I'm bringing some Simple Mills crackers. I love Simple Mills, I love their crackers. I find that these almond flour ones are like, kind of like Wheat Thins. Um, they're a little bit crispier than Wheat Thins, but they kind of remind me of a Wheat Thin. They're kind of plain tasting, but they are so good. They're salty. They also make really awesome flavors, like the cracked pepper one's really good, the rosemary one's really good, the, what's the other one I really like? I can't think of the other one that I love, but. All of them are delicious and they're made with really good ingredients like almonds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, cassava flour, and they're grain-free, gluten-free, vegan, and crispy, and just really, really good. So I highly recommend anything and everything from Simple Mills. I love this brand so much and their products are super high quality and delicious. All right, next I have some like breakfasty type things. So I am bringing 
some almond butter and rice cakes with me. Sometimes we're gonna be getting up pretty early and hitting the road, so what I'll do is I'll try to find a grocery store where I can get a banana. Maybe I'll get a few bananas at a time, and I'll just make us little almond butter and banana rice cakes for the road. These are just so easy. I love rice cakes with almond butter and, and banana. They are just like, I don't know, it's just a satisfying like little snack thing. So it's always great to have almond butter with you or some sort of nut butter. It's a great little snack. And then rice cakes are just a good vehicle for things like this or hummus or avocado or whatever you end up finding. So definitely recommend this. I am also a huge bar addict. I love bars. So I'm bringing a ton of different bars with me. Uh, my favorite is right now is from Ra Rev. It's their double chocolate brownie batter bars. There's 12 grams of protein per bar and they also have 14 grams of sugar. I mean, 14 grams of fiber and only four grams of sugar. So they're a really great option. I also have these Go Macro mini bars, which are great like little snack instead of, if you don't want like a whole bar, which sometimes is just too much, if you want half a bar, you don't have to break it in half. You can just have a little mini bar. So these Go Macro minis are awesome. This one is their peanut butter chocolate chip, duh and they're just really, really good. And then the this box I also actually got on Thrive Market. This is Matt's favorite kind of bar. He loves the Cliff Protein Builder bars. Um, it comes with 12 bars. It's the chocolate peanut butter flavor. There are 20 grams of protein per bar in these. The only thing that I don't love about the Cliff bars is that they are a little bit high on the sugar side. Um, so I don't really eat them all that often. There's a total of 17 grams of sugar per bar, which I think is a little bit excessive. However, they are really good and they're like a sweet kind of healthy treat. So I'd rather he eat one of these than buy like a Snickers bars or something. So I'm happy to buy him a box of these so that he can have something sweet and crunchy and chocolatey and peanut buttery and still kind of get that sweet fix. All right, only a few things left. Um, the next thing are energy balls. I shared a video, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, um, sharing a few new energy ball flavors. I made them here in Denver. I still have some with me. So I'm gonna be bringing my salted caramel energy bites as well as my coconut mango energy bites. They are just like a great little snack. These have been in my backpack, so they're a little bit smushed, but these ones are so good. If you haven't tried this recipe yet, you have to. It's delicious. If you like that salty sweet combo, mm, can't beat it. So we have all of these and I just love energy balls. It's like a quick little bite if I'm getting kind of hungry or I want something sweet. Um, they're an awesome, awesome option. All right, last but not least are something sweet. We are big fans of peanut M&Ms. I think peanut M&Ms are just like one of the best candies on the planet. And there is finally a healthy alternative it's Unreal Snacks. It is their dark chocolate peanut gems. These are gluten-free. They are non-GMO. They're made with fair trade ingredients. They're also vegan. And what I love, what I, I'm trying to find it on here. Um, oh, right here. The colors are made from natural sources. So they aren't like the classic peanut butter M&M colors, like the yellow, the green, the orange, all those, the blue. Um, they're just made from like real colors. I think there is a blue and like kind of a red and a pinky color. Um, and they're made from, let me see if I can find it. And the colors are made from beet juice and spirulina extract. So they taste delicious. Like I honestly could not tell the difference. If you held, gave me a peanut M&M and gave me one of these, I don't know if I could choose. The difference obviously is that these are dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. They do make a milk chocolate version as well. So if you are an M&M fan, you have to check out this company because they make amazing, healthy options that I just think are just like a good, better alternative for you. Of course, there's still like sugar and everything like that, but you know what? If you can make a healthier swap, to something that you love, like M&Ms, hello, then I think it's well worth it. So I definitely recommend checking them out. And that is pretty much it. That covers all of the snacks that I'm bringing. Of course, this isn't like all the snacks that you could bring, it's just what I'm personally bringing. And I think that these are great vegan options if you're on a long road trip, you're looking for like something that satisfies what you might find at a gas station, then these are great options. I also just wanna point out, like I'm not necessarily saying that these are healthy snacks, I just think that they are better alternatives to some of the things that you do find at a traditional gas station at maybe like Ruffles or Lay's or 
Doritos or something like that. So something that you might reach for that maybe doesn't have the cleanest ingredients or isn't really made with real food ingredients. All of these are really great options and I will link all of the individual products down in the description box. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments as well. This video is not sponsored by anyone. I just want to clarify these are all things that I bought on my own and just wanted to share it with you guys. I actually did a poll on Instagram to ask if you wanted to see this video versus another one. And this one won by a landslide, so that's why I'm here filming it for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button right below this video. And if you're interested in following along with our road trip, by the time you're seeing this, we're a couple days in, but we still have about a full week left. You can follow on Instagram. I'll put my handle right here and you can follow along. I'll be sharing on stories. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.